Right now, you don't know, sir. In the kitchen time, no, no. Right, so, right. one, what, what, what a spice today? What go on with the spice? Man, may I change up the game a little bit. I'm going to write now some appetizer. And right now, I'm going to do some coconut shrimp. I'm going to serve it with a wonderful chipotle sauce. And it's going to be so crazy because I'm going to use it also one of my one of my brands that I like. Man, I look for a red stripe beer. But yeah. you know what? A red stripe beer in the day. So, yeah. I'm going to go on with the Corona. I'm going to put right. it together and it's going to be so nice. Coconut shrimp in the kitchen. Ziggy Bless, don't get it twisted. All right, guys, you're done know already. Like I said, we're going to be doing a coconut shrimp. Real simple, real easy. And this is something where if you're home and you want to do something different, you want to make something special for the lady. Or ladies, you want to make something for the guy working hard and he's coming home. This is something different from the typical Jamaican food. Change it up a little bit. So we're going to do some coconut shrimp and the batter is going to be a beer batter. So the ingredients that you need, all the ingredients is online, but I have here the ingredients. You have your coconut, you have your liquid egg, you have your flour, and you have your 1620 PND, you have your Cajun season, your black pepper, garlic powder, Old Bay, paprika, and your salt. And you have your Corona. You can use any other beer that you want to use. You can use Red Stripe, you can use Heineken, but I'm going to go with a Corona. All right? Simple. So what we're going to do now, we're going to make our batter, our beer batter. Real easy, you're gonna go with your flour. You're gonna put your flour in. I'm putting about probably two cups, two cups of flour. And now you're gonna go with your Cajun season because I wanna give it a nice flavor. All right, that's about a teaspoon of black pepper. Another teaspoon. And we're gonna go with our salt, about a teaspoon too. And we're gonna go with our garlic powder another teaspoon then we're gonna go with our obey season another teaspoon and our paprika all right another teaspoon simple and easy we're gonna mix this up real good mix them up real nice and then now we're gonna go with our beer you're gonna pour your beer in and you want to control the thickness of it so don't pour all the beer in at once you pour and you watch it as you go along and you pour a little bit more and you watch as you go along all right i can pour everything in and i'm still good nice you want a nice rich consistency kind of like this what you're shooting for let me add a little bit of water to it because not too much because you want the shrimp to be able to stick on him real good. All right, that's the consistency that you're shooting for. Another thing too that you can do, you can take a little bit of flour and you can coat the shrimp. That will help the batter to stick onto the shrimp a little bit more easier. And now we're gonna take our batter, bring it over here a little bit closer and now we're gonna dip the batter, dip the shrimp inside the batter, and we're gonna come right over to the coconut and just drop them. Dip. Come right over to the coconut and drop them. See? You wanna shake it off a little bit because you don't want too much. You don't want too much get on the shrimp. Take my coconut and I'm going to sprinkle my coconut over the shrimp. I don't want to too much aggravate the shrimp, so I'm not going to like take them up and toss them over and do all of that. I'm just going to sprinkle the coconut over it again and make him real, look real good. Then I'm going to take up the shrimp, have my plate ready, put them right here on the plate. See? Looking real good. And if you look, you can see they're well coated, well coated with a coconut. And you can just imagine when you bite into these bad boy, how juicy and flavorful they're gonna be. I'm gonna drop my shrimp into it. First, you're gonna check to see how hot is the oil. 
and you drop your shrimp in nicely and let them fry for probably about a minute and then you flip them over you flip them over on one side and you flip them over again nice you want them you don't want them you got to be careful you don't want them to color too fast so you just flip them over a little bit beautiful nice color see you get it a nice golden brown and that's what you're shooting for all right guys you see how simple that was and you see how easy i put it together now we're down to the finishing and you know this is what i like to do the presentation so i'm gonna make this presentation real simple and i'm gonna go with my aged balsamic and i'm just gonna do a twirl around simple then i'm gonna go with my chipotle dipping sauce that's gonna be right in the middle like this and as you know me already i'm all about flavor i want things to have flavor so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of pepper flakes right in the middle of the chipotle. Keep them looking real sexy. And look at these shrimp. Look how pretty these bad boy look. Simple. I'm gonna let it sit right inside the chipotle. I know what you're saying to yourself. You're like, oh my God, I can't wait till I bite into that. I'm keeping this simple and easy and classy. Then I'm going to finish them off with a little bit of dill. Just kind of drizzle right on the top of it. Just to make this presentation, give it that little final touch. And that's it right there. That's your coconut shrimp with your chipotle sauce and your aged balsamic reduction. Don't get it twisted. You're in at the kitchen.